Hi, I'm Dr. Tim O'Carrigan, orthopedic surgeon. I specialize in foot and ankle surgery and limb reconstruction. And today I'm going to talk about avascular necrosis. Bone is a living structure. We often think of it like wood, but it's actually got blood supply and it's constantly being taken away and laid down, new bone being laid down as part of the uh, an ongoing process, 24 hours a day, seven days a week, 365 days a year. And the blood supply to bone sometimes can get interrupted and that can lead to part of that bone dying, a little bit like a heart attack. And that's called avascular necrosis. The two bones that it most typically affects are the hip joint, which is the the femoral head, the ball part of the ball and socket, and the other bone is the talus in the ankle. The three main causes of avascular necrosis are trauma, heavy alcohol intake, and corticosteroids. So trauma is where a fracture occurs and the blood supply to that bone is disrupted by the trauma and that leads to that bone dying. So with the hip you know, it's a fracture through what we call the neck of the femur. In the ankle, it's ankle trauma leading to a fracture of the talus. When bone loses its blood supply, it doesn't actually immediately collapse. It takes time for that to occur. What happens is the body tries to uh, restore the blood supply and actually takes away the dead bone before it lays down new bone and it's a little bit like trying to change the foundations on your house if you are changing the foundations you'll lay put down new foundations first before you take the old foundations away unfortunately the body didn't go to building school and it's got the process the other way around so it takes away the dead bone and that takes away the support for the cartilage and before the new bone is laid down, that can lead to collapse. When the bone underneath the cartilage collapses, it's a little bit like a carpet losing its support on loose floorboards where it stretches and then tears. So the cartilage collapses down, that leads to arthritis, severe pain, and that needs to be salvaged with a joint replacement. So when it occurs at the hip, then people do a hip replacement. When it occurs in the ankle, in the talus, that's been a much more difficult problem to deal with. The two other main causes are heavy alcohol intake is associated with the development of avascular necrosis. And when patients are given steroids for other reasons, that's not anabolic steroids like a bodybuilder, it's corticosteroids, which are an anti-inflammatory. So people with uh, rheumatoid arthritis or other inflammatory conditions, sometimes respiratory conditions, skin conditions, can be given uh, corticosteroids as part of that treatment. And sometimes, unfortunately, that can lead to a vascular necrosis. Because I'm a foot and ankle surgeon, I'm gonna talk about a vascular necrosis of the talus. When that occurs, sometimes, uh, the body is able to replace that bone and it doesn't, it doesn't lead to collapse and arthritis, but when it does, patients need to have their pain relieved. Traditionally, that's been salvaged with the fusion of the ankle, which technically has been difficult because of the avascular bone in the talus, and it's been uh, often an unsatisfactory outcome. Our preference is to put an ankle replacement in. A standard ankle replacement relies on bone in the talus to heal onto the component and support that component. So that also has problems for a conventional ankle replacement with avascular necrosis. We are now able to remove the avascular bone and replace that talus with a 3D printed metal talus component that we can then marry to a standard ankle replacement. And so that's something through our unit that we've been able to do in limited numbers because it is a, a very boutique type of uh, 
or unique situation. Um, and that has been successful in terms of relieving pain, correcting deformity and preserving movement.